So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in Octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover, colophon included. Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me balmy? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for nights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crud pie. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, Think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra, and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise even if I wished to. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now! If I'm poked, you must hang on, me. sobs in the rustling leaves. Blood seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. the tree close. Mm -hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? My help doesn't come free, you know. You speak to a lowly woodcutter. No stench of coin about me. Agreed. I will pay as soon as the young mate is free. Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome laugh for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief. A token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher.
slow now. Hut looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Avery Bonus. Conclave of Mages banned this tome. No idea what ingredients are in there. ground into dust. on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. spell enhancements or trophies. Arrow broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer.
branch off a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest, or a bad one. It all looks like an accessory for casting curses. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Link's Crag, would be hard-pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. The Lady's Knight, you ever make it here? Sir Gareth. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> I could not. What if I asked you nicely to lift the curse, please? Gareth met the fate he deserved, and what happened to his witch was not my fault. All right, so you didn't cast the curse, but could you help lift it? I probably could, but why ever would I? Humble myself, prostrate myself before you like the Gareth of the Tale did. I beseech you to help me. Lift the curse that imprisoned Daphne in the tree. When I saw you enter my heart, I thought, now there is a fellow who shall bend his neck for no one. Stand. None, not even I can restore to the last the yes she has lost, can erase the suffering she has endured. We cannot bring her back to life, but I shall tell you how you might let her depart in peace. Yet my aid shall have its price. A lock of your hair. Hmm. How can I know you won't use it to cast a spell on me? I require this. I must, for with it I will cast a spell to conceal me from you for all time, and will use it for nothing else. You will nag me never again, and you've nothing to fear, I assure you. I always keep my word. about to trust you with a lock of my hair or anything else. Refuse to help me and I'll make you regret it and force you to. Do you know what really makes my blood boil? Bluster, threats, especially beneath my own roof. 
wouldn't mean to use either if you'd cooperate. How would I do that, Giffen? You will soon be dead. Akandal! Have bested me. Tradition ordains I must grant you three wishes, it seems. You know exactly why I'm here. Very well. I will help you. Albeit I pity the lass, not at all. I shall do what I can to break the curse that imprisons her soul in the tree. Hold you to that. Daphne didn't deserve her fate. Tales can be cruel. Now be gone. Leave me be. I can tend to the rest alone. Remember the deal we made. I have given you my word. I will keep it. But you. You are the this, the Duke of that, you the Duke of Tom Tittle. Damn it, where the hell's Jacob? Wouldn't abandon the tree of his own free will. Need to find him. Fresh blood and clear, deep prints. Looks like Jacob fled, chased by his dog. your man.
Damn it. Which freed the ghost from the tree, as promised. Failed to add the specter'd be insane, full of pain and rage. Possessed the first living creature it ran into. The dog. Dog then killed Jacob. Farewell, chivalrous woodsman. Sorry it ended this way. Life's rarely like a fairy tale. Still, folk have gotta have faith, believe in something. <laughs>